up this place is room. Okay, Salty Kayak here in Big John. Big John. We've got an incoming tide. We are heading out. Probably going to stay close to shore because we have westerly winds. And if you can see westerly winds already here and causing ripples in inside, then that means outside it's pretty pretty ugly out there, usually. We'll go out to the end of the jetty. We'll see what it's like. But we plan on going to a place either called Nine Mile Reef, which is about five or six miles out and then we're if, we, if it looks good we'll still go on out a little bit further to uh, reef number 12 reef number 12 yeah we'll see what we can catch out there that's a pretty popular area a lot of people go fishing out there but if it's rough we might go out there anyway this is the day the Lord has made we're gonna rejoice and be glad in it whether we catch fish or not but Lord we ask you to bless us with fish today. Lots of good action. All right. Heading up that way. And today's walk with the Lord is from Psalm 107, verse 23 and 24. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Well, we are here at this nine mile reef and it is borderline white caps, choppy water. We're bouncing around. I don't think we're going out much further. Oh, I snagged me a ruby lips. Snagged me a ruby lips. There is some natural bottom here. I'll catch me one later. What? A red snapper. You got a red snapper. Look at that. Big John caught a red snapper. Oh man. You sure that's not a red sea bass? <laughs> it is blasted Big John again. Yellow stripers. Sure enough. Another yellow striper. <laughs> I think I got I got a real fish. If you got a little teeny grunt, throw them back here. Yeah, a small one. I think I got me Mr. Red oh, Shrimp. Red Snapper. We'll see. Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. We're in federal waters and I can't keep him. It's a red, red drum. I'll be dog, dead, gobbly, doggone. And he swallowed it. Oh boy, where's my vent tool? A dang of red drum. And you can't keep red drum in federal waters. Well, he's going down already. He must have let his air out. I'm going to have to cut him off. Because he swallowed the hook. Swallowed the hook. Swallowed the hook. The hook. The hook. He's gone. On shrimp, that was a red drum on shrimp. My good goobly goo. Big John's on fire. He's catching Small grunts. Fire. <laughs> Small fire, just a just a flame. Yeah. A spark, huh? No bragging yet, huh? Gotta be a mangrove down there somewhere. Big fish. This is on a sardine just kind of out the back of the boat. Ah, look at there. Red snapper came up halfway up the column to get this. This uh, sardine. Yeah, we've got some stripes on these red snappers to make them into lane snappers.
looking for manta rays out here. There's supposed to be some coming up and down the coast, close to the coast. And on a couple of them, there are some nice uh, cobia. Okay. Right. Got something going on here on the sardine. Whatever it is, it's not a cobia. Not a big one if it is. It's kind of sluggish pulling. It's another red snapper came off the bottom. Caught him in the lip. Just just caught him in the lip. Just caught him in the lip. Just a little bit. That's a good size, uh, good size table size snapper there. Windy. We're not sure what Big John's got here, but he got something big. Pull this up so we don't get tangled up in the motor. Think you got Mr. Shark? She might have Mr. Cobia. Let's see if I can get this up. Good, huh? Actually, really good. <sighs> come on, come on. Wow, John, that really could be a cobia. He is on the other side. Of the boat. All right, give me your pole. Wrestling, wrestling, Big John. Let me come up here and get your other line. That's a shark. He hadn't broke it yet. I'm thinking that's not a shark. You might be doing the cobia dance, brother. Uh, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Sure would. Put that right there. And let me prepare. This net out. Oh, I saw a little bit of gray. Yeah, a hammerhead. Got yourself a hammerhead. Yep. Got yourself a hammer. If I can help you out here. Yeah. There's my deal. Yep. You may just have to cut it. Oh. Hey, and done, yeah. <laughs> I don't have my uh, fishing gloves on either. A four or five footer. Yep. Ow, 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 ow. My, my. I get my butt all wet, too. <laughs> <laughs> butt wet. Not a butt weight. That's a butt wet. I suck behind you there. Try one more time. Lee! You end up getting bit. Just cut that hook off. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> no sense getting hurt over the shark you can't keep. Oh, I think we just got another red snap on, on shrimp, but you never know. It could be a mangrove. So there's mangroves out here. Nice ones too. It's just hard to get to them through all oh, the red snapper just broke me off. I'll be doggone. Or spit the hook. That was mangrove that got off. Yeah, just spit the hook. Big mangrove. <laughs> yeah, big one, man. What I catch? What I get there? A little blue. A little blue fish. Gonna cut the mother line. Ooh, miserable thing. That was my fault. I let him do that. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, cut through the line. <laughs> oh, miserable thing. I lost my whole other rig here, John. Thanks to this bluefish. Ugh, miserable thing. You want him? Oh, man, he's all, all bloody. Miserable thing. I'm not sure if I had this on or not, but there's John's great big red snapper here at reef at the nine mile reef just outside Daytona Beach right there Wow it's a 28 to 30 inch monster <laughs> snapper here let me try I give my brother I give my brother a hand before this fish goes crazy there you go thank you oh, big girl big girl wow me out I love it Thank you, Lane. You're welcome. Oh, brother John catches those great big red snapper. And I'm going to put on a grunt. And I catch these great big red snapper. Yeah. Something not fair. My boat, my boat, I'm supposed to catch the biggest ones. Oh, gone. Life ain't fair. <laughs> and he's staying on top. I don't want to get that line in. I don't know. He's heading around around your side. Shaking his head. Could be Mr. C. Something just broke my line off there. Man. It's on the All-American pole. My buddy Dennis Mills made for me. Well, I think we're good now. Okay. Let's see what you are. Come on up here. You're a shark? Nah, not interested. That was on a sardine. That's the head of the sardine right there. This is the cobia. No doubt he's big enough. We shall see what we shall see, but stay on this side of the boat, will you? I hate going around all those fishing poles. Let's see what you are. Come on. He's going back over this way, so let me get my meander in again. Oh, 
Okay. Well, you're you're ready. You're hopeful. I am. I almost think he is brown. These big boys will wear you out. Nice big head shake like he is the big cobia. I got a hundred pound braid on here. This might be my steel leader. I know. He's coming up. 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 Come on, let me see ya. If you're a Kobe, I wouldn't want to be ya. Still no sign. There he is, big shark, big shark. Just a big old ugly shark. Dag on, put it away. I'm probably gonna break him off. Big old shark. Not gonna risk putting my hand down there. Is it a hammerhead or just a like a lemon shark or one of those. There we go. Did it himself. Okay, we moved about a hundred feet. Found some more shells out here. I think I know what this is. You just never know, you know? You just never know. We've had some huge bites, huge break-offs. They could have all been sharks, but you know, one of them took me under a shelf, so it could have been a big grouper or something. Nope, just big old red snapper. Table size, right there. Table size red snapper, right there. Throw them back. Throw another one back. He's eating on it, at least. <laughs> All right, there we go, whole grunt. I know there's shells down there, so I gotta keep them out of the shells. Come on. Come on up here. Yeah, this is combat fishing here. You gotta keep them out of the shelves. Not break them off. Pull up, reel down, fast. Oh my, strong, strong fish. And I think I got him licked now. As long as he doesn't spit the hook. He belongs to Salty Kayak. In the boat, the answered prayer. Told ya! Big red. Big red. I don't think he's as big as yours uh, was. I got a little bit red. He's like, I'll be red. I got a great big red snapper. Doopy dooby doo. Okay. There you go. Get down there, big girl. You know, I think I saw a flash of a um, tag in that fish. Wish I'd have kept him up just a little bit longer. That looked too big for a grunt. God, the breeze is calming down just a little bit, folks, which is kind of nice. Yep, little red snapper. <laughs> You know, one of these days might be used red snapper for bait. They're so populous. 
Yeah, he stopped feeling like Mr. Porgy though. Sure enough. Not Mr. Porgy. Old Big John. He's over there moaning and groaning again. Why whining? We're probably going to leave here pretty soon and go out to reef number 12. And we're having a hard time just catching these grunts to use for bait. In case a passing cobia comes by. That's a nice uh, red snapper. Not a grunt. We're going to leave here pretty soon. Try something someplace that may have some grunts. <laughs> Instead of all these blasted red snapper. We moved out here. Oh, pull loose. <laughs> that had gone. Pull loose. He wouldn't hook very well. Yep, just sling. Oh, look at that. Got me a nice scale. Got me a nice scale. Send that off for DNA. <laughs> this is our third spot that we've moved to. We had to get away from Nine Mile Reef because we couldn't catch even any grunts because of all the red snapper. So we've come to 12, reef number 12. We've caught plenty of grunts. We've had some good break-offs here too, probably just gigantic red snappers. I got a nice lively on here right now. Nothing seems to be interested in them right at the moment. We've had some massive break-offs here, folks. So we've got some pretty good sized bait on here. We're, we're in pipes, pipes all over the place right here. So, oh, 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 oh. oh there's a big snapper down there. I think he got my bait off. Yep, sure did. He got my bait off. I'll put another lively on. Put it down there. I got this one. Oh, I don't. No, I don't. Come on, do that again. Of course, every time you've done it, I've lost you. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> he tried to go in a hole down there and I wouldn't let him. Snapper would grab that, wouldn't you? Nice vein snapper, something. something Here we go, look at there. Oh. Whoa! Action in the back. Action in the back. The back action. That's a little bit of a oh, sar sardine on here. Old stinky old sardine. Come on, let's let's just get one up here. Let's just get one up. At this spot, 
we haven't gotten one fish up because they've all been so huge we've gotten a few grunts uh, and you you have to basically lock it down almost no drag because they'll take you in a pipe i've had three wire break off over there so they took took it in a pipe and just boom broke it off okay if i can keep this guy on here you can see what it is john this might be our first fish to the boat here next time i come out to this spot and that's exactly what i was suspecting gigantic red snappers Look at there, John. He's all around my other yeah. line, too. One of my other lines. That's exactly what we're catching. Mega snapper. Oh, gosh. Hard to get a circle hook out sometimes. I got the hook out, but he's still wrapped around the other line. Uh, just threw this out with a new grunt on there. And something hit him, let go. Must have got pricked or something. Come on. Oh, it's beautiful out here. It is. About time, too. There's a nice hit. There's a nice hit. Come on. Sinker's just doing what Lane does, stick it in the holder and leave it alone. See there? Look at there. Mm. Oh! Circle hook did its job, don't catch him. <laughs> circle hook, circle hook did its job, no catch him. And I know you're supposed you're gonna say you're gonna have a lot of people say you're not supposed to yank it up. Well, I've been fishing here long enough to know you have to. Or you'll get a break off every time. Every time. In the culverts down there. <clears throat> you're not giving up. Watch the Spanish mackerels jumping behind the boat. Smackerels? Smackerels. Come on, let's get another one up. A whole grunt. And Jason, if you're watching, cousin Jason, this is the spot that I sent you to where you broke your pole. Oh, I saw it. The big old red snapper. Spit the hook. Spit a blast and circle hook. Of all things, how do you spit a circle hook? Well, I saw a big old red snapper. Big John is hooked into his first big red snapper out here at 12. Believe it or not, folks, and I did not have my camera running, I had a 33-inch gag grouper that I just let go. I thought the cam was running, but it wasn't. Get him, John. Let me move my line out of the way for you. Maybe too late. <laughs> yeah, that was the secret, wasn't it? Oh, has he got you in a hole? Sardine's gone. I think he's got you in a hole. Yep. 
Got to lock her down out here, folks, and keep them out of the hole. And if we get them out of the hole, we'll get back to you. <laughs> ah, good. Hard hit and then let go, huh? Yeah. yeah. There's that big cooter right there. I mean, he is big. He's half the size of the boat. I saw him while I go. I saw him while I go. I yeah, he's out now. there. And we'll catch a big red snapper and give it to that barracuda because, you know, we can't keep him. Because, you know, we can't keep him. He's coming underneath the front of the boat. Oh, yeah. Come on, John. Quit, man. Yeah, the bite's dying off. We were not too far from heading back in, yes, and it was just after this that the camera died. So we were just actually packing it back in because mm. we were wore out from pulling up, trying yeah, to pull up all these monstrosity fish. So it turned out to be a beautiful day, and we did 25, 26, 28 mile an hour in all the way back in. And looking to do it again next week. One, nothing's taking it. Boy, I've lost so much hardware today.